Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga, a wonderful energy flow yoga today. Um, pretty chill. Uh, nothing too intense, nothing too crazy. Um, just really nice to get that energy moving through us freely, moving blocks, getting rid of negative tension, negative energies, whatever is not going to serve us well today. So thanks for joining me. Um, water handy if you need it. And we're going to start in child's pose. So giving yourself plenty of room on your mat, and we're just going to take a second, opening up those knees, bringing the big toes to gently touch, walk the hands forward, and just allow yourself to settle in. Uh, just melting. Finding your breath, extending through the arms, feel that energy through the tips of the fingers. We're just going to gently move through the torso, connecting with the breath, just checking in. How are you feeling? We're going to walk just interim those hands back just a little bit uh, to let those sit bones come a little closer to the heels. Find your breath. We're going to inhale up to a modified high plank with those knees open wide, and we're just going to let those hips gently come forward, lift your gaze to the sky, and then slowly press it back. Once again, to your extended child's pose, we're going to do that again two more times. Inhale, coming forward, core is strong, allowing those hips to gently come towards the mat, noticing with those knees a little wider, might not get that full range as if those knees were close, and sit it back to child's pose. Let's do that one more time. Inhaling it up, modified plank, allowing those hips to gently come forward, creating an arch in the back, and gently press it back to extended child's pose. Inhale, lift just slightly and walk your hands to the left, reaching through your right fingertips as far as you can reach and just gently release the weight of the upper body down. Left hand is there for a little support if you need it or just allowing that body weight to come down onto that right shoulder. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands through center. And then over to the right, reaching through your left fingertips. Oh, and just settle down oh, towards that left shoulder. That feels so good. Stretching through the ribs and the waist, the shoulder. Find your breath. Let go of the rest of the world just for these few moments. Really connecting mind and body with that breath. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk those hands back through center, and release it down. Inhale, walk those hands underneath those shoulders and close the knees, hip width apart. So they're not touching, but they're just hip width apart. Wrists are right below those shoulders. Take a big breath in, come to cow pose, tummy towards the mat, lift your gaze, lift your sit bones to the sky. Exhale and hollow the tummy and chest, lift your spine, tuck your chin to cat. Inhaling it back to cow. And exhaling it to cat. Let's do one more each direction. Inhaling it to cow. And exhaling it to cat. This time making a circle with that torso. Inhale, belly towards the mat. Lift your gaze and sit bones to the sky. And as you exhale, roll the rib cage to the left. Hollow the tummy and chest as you lift your spine towards the sky. Roll that rib cage to the right. And once again, back to cow pose. Let's do that again. Roll the rib cage to the left. Hollow it out. Roll the rib cage to the right. And lower that belly. Hold your cow pose. And reverse it. Rib cage to the right. Hollow the tummy and chest. Oh, coming back to cow. One more rotation. Oh, just isolating through that rib cage, coming all the way back to your cow, and inhale it back to neutral. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, take the gaze between your hands and walk your feet in to forward fold. Relaxing the weight of the upper body down, arms are heavy, bringing the hands to the elbows, we hold on and gently sway side to side, finding that breath 
and slowing it down. Coming back to center, release your arms and slowly roll yourself up, stacking each vertebra as you rise. Standing tall, big shoulder roll at the top and shoulders slide down and away. Do that again, big shoulder roll up and back and shoulders slide down and away. Turn your palms to the front, inhale, reach to the sky and exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step or hop to high plank, toes or knees, crocodile down, elbows right by the ribs. Press it through up dog. And exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips to down dog. And just gently sway those hips side to side, checking in. Again, always connecting to that breath. Always checking in with the messages your body is sending. Don't judge them. Just be mindful. Coming back to center. Let's inhale up to the balls of the feet. Hollow the tummy and chest. Slowly transitioning forward to that nice flat plank. And then exhale. Chin to chest. Hollow the tummy. Hollow the chest. Lift your sit bones. And then let your heels gently sink. We shift our weight to our left foot. Right toes to the sky. Exhale in, sweeping that right foot through. Back heel to the mat. Windmill those arms up to warrior two. Hips, chest, and shoulders open to the side. Gazing out over that front middle finger, relax those shoulders. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And then exhale, sink. Again, inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. As you exhale, release the back of that right arm along the inside of that right calf. We're going to circle that left arm up, around, making a big circle, following with your gaze, if that feels okay on your neck. Big circle up and over. Uh, range of motion through the shoulder. Oh, just feel those big inhales, big exhales. One more rotation all the way up and over. And as you exhale, releasing that left hand to the inside of the right foot, back heel comes off the mat. We come into a deeper runner's lunge, rotating the body and reaching. Right arm to the sky. Extend out of the shoulder, up to the tips of your fingers. Rotating that right palm towards the front, reach it up and over. Big circle, sweep it around, bring it up. Keeping that core strong, three passes. Sweep it around and up. One more time. Sweep it around and up. And gently release that right hand to the outside of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend right leg to the sky. As you exhale, pull that right knee into plank. Hold center. Exhale it back to down dog. Press that right toes to the sky. Exhale and pull that right knee to the right elbow. Pause. Press it back. Extend those toes to the sky. And exhale, cross that right knee to the left elbow. Pause. And press it back. And gently release it down. Holding your down dog or inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. We alternate bending knees. Walk it out. Find your breath. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. And as you exhale, let your heels sink, breathe. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. And exhale, left arm down, right arm high, lean in and reach. Inhale, both arms come up. And exhale, other side. Lean in and reach. Inhale, both arms come up. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhaling up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Walk, step or hop to high plank. 
Crocodile down, elbows right by the ribs. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. And we shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Back heel to the mat, windmill those arms up to warrior two. Hips, chest, and shoulders open to the side. Shoulders soft and away from those ears. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. And then exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. Back of the left arm along the inside of that left leg. Right arm circles up and over. Big circles passing down towards the mat. Lifting up and over. Just finding that breath. Inhale it up and over. One more pass. Exhale, big circle. Up and over, and as you release that right hand down, place it along the inside of that left foot. Back heel comes off the mat, and we sink in to that deeper runner's lunge. Rotating and reaching, left arm to the sky. Reach up just as high as you can reach. Extending and lengthening out of the fingertips, rotating that left palm towards the front. Reach it up and over in those three big circles. Pass it down towards the mat. Big circle up and over. Two more times, finding that breath. Just moving fluidly, allowing that energy to flow, to pass through the shoulder. And as you exhale, releasing that left hand down, hand on either side of your foot, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend left leg to the sky. As you inhale, we come to high plank, drawing that left knee and hold for just a moment. And then exhale, press it back out. As you inhale, we come to plank and draw that left knee to the left elbow. Pause for just a moment. And then press it back to our three-legged dog. And now we pass it to that right elbow. Left knee, right elbow. Little pause. And press it back to that three-legged dog. Releasing that left foot down. Inhale into high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold. And we're gonna heel toe those feet out to the outside edge of your mat. Toes are off the mat, heels are on, head is heavy. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands a giant step forward. You might step off of your mat, that's okay. And then press uh, chest and tummy back towards the space between your legs. And we're gonna look up, gazing towards the top of your fingertips. And the pose, if that causes tension, undo tension in your neck and your shoulders, yeah. You just let that head be heavy. Hammock pose. Beautiful stretch on the back of the legs, opening up through the shoulders. Let's go ahead and walk those hands back. Shift your weight to your heels and slowly bend your knees. We're gonna to work to flatten out that back. So as the bottom lowers, the head lifts just slightly. Think of yourself as a little table. Nice flat back, lengthening through the crown of the head. Now we can stay right here, or if it feels right to you, lower the bottom, lift the chest, pull the hands to heart center, and just gently rock side to side. So just a little mobility through those hips, checking in, making sure that it's right for you. We come back to center, release the hands, and as you exhale, press through those heels and extend those legs and roll it up, ragdolling all the way back up. Big shoulder roll at the top, shoulders slide down and away, bring the hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, bring your palms to touch as best you can, and as you exhale, arch it back, gaze to the sky. Reach your knuckles towards the mat, find your breath. Inhaling it up nice and tall, release your hands, big circle of the arms up and over, Exhale and open those arms out to a T. Let's hinge it forward. Coming all the way over, release your hands to the top of the mat. 
Step one foot back and then the other to plank crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. Find your breath. Allow the heels to sink. Alternate bending knees. Walk it out. As you exhale, let both heels sink. We inhale to high plank. And very carefully, lowering those hips down towards the mat, keeping the toes tucked under, just coming as low as feels right to you. You can stop at any point. Feels good to you, release the knees, untuck those toes to cobra. If you need to bend the elbows, bend the elbows. And then gently release your tummy down, coming all the way down onto the mat. Go ahead and slide on back to your mat. Hands on either side of your chest. Really draw that right heel in towards your bottom. Reaching back with that right hand, taking a hold of your foot, drawing your heel a little closer to the bottom. Noticing if that right hip has lifted off the mat, gently press it back down towards the earth. Keeping a good hold of that foot, keeping that right hip from lifting, if it feels right to you, lift that right knee. How much of your thigh can you get off the mat? Deepening that quadriceps stretch. Releasing the knee, releasing the foot. Right hand comes back towards the chest. Left foot comes in, left hand reaches back, taking a hold of that left foot and drawing your heel in towards your bottom. Mm, just checking in. A gentle press of that left hip down towards the earth. Keeping a good hold of that foot. If you like, lift that left knee. Kind of a different message. The body's sending. Ah, or I should say the mind is sending. The nerves are sending and how the body responds. Gently release. Release the foot. Press it back to child's pose. Mm. Nice big full deep breaths. So let's go ahead and walk our hands up. Come over onto one hip. Sweep your feet around and slide on down towards the top of your mat. Lengthen those legs, flex your feet, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, open to the right, arms open out to a T. Inhale, reach to the sky, turn back to face front. And then exhale, rotate to the left, open those arms out to a T. Inhale, reach to the sky. One more time each direction. Turn to the right. Inhale, lift, come back to center. And exhale, rotate to the left. Inhale, reach to the sky. Open those arms out to a T. Flex your wrists, hollow your tummy and chest. Press your palms forward, spine back, chin down. Inhale it open and reach. Exhale, flow forward. Release your hands. Relax the weight of your head. Inhale, reach it out, sit up nice and tall. Release those arms, open out to a T. Flex your wrists, hollow your tummy and chest, press your palms forward, spine back, chin down. Inhale it open and reach. Exhale, flow forward. Release your hands, relax the weight of your head. Inhale, reach it out, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, open those arms out to a T. Flex your wrists, hollow your tummy and chest. Press your palms forward, spine back, chin down. Inhale, open and reach. Last forward fold, lengthen and hinge it forward. Release your hands and let your upper body be heavy. Walk that right hand out forward, left hand out forward, and let your head be heavy. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Circle those arms around behind. Uh, draw those knees in. Pull them in nice and tight. And just make yourself into a tight little ball. Uh, so as we balance on our bottom, our core is working. A little tuck of the chin. Breathe. And then gently begin to lift. 
through the crown of the head, sitting up nice and tall. Find your breath. Release the hands if you like. Lift the arms overhead. Circle the arms to the back and back to boat. So we're just going to do two more passes with those arms. You can keep the arms extended out. You can keep them supporting. You can do one arm at a time, adding that support. So whatever feels good to you. Let's do one more or both arms if you were doing singular and bring the soles of the feet together. Knees open out wide and just hinge in forward. Find your breath. Starting at the tailbone, roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. Sitting up nice and tall, let's slide on down towards the top of the mat, giving yourself room at the back of your mat. Hands come to the shins and rock yourself back, pulling the knees in nice and tight. Right knee stays in, left leg extends out. We interlace our fingers on that right shin, and we're going to pull that knee in as we press the knee out, so creating wrist resistance with those arms. Pressing that knee up, pulling down with those hands, and release. Let's do that again. As you exhale, press up with the knee, pull down with the hands, and release. One more time. Press up with the knee, pull down with the hands, and release. Releasing that right knee, sliding it out. Left knee pulls in, interlace those fingers, place your hands just below the knee, and then we're gonna pull the knee in as we press the knee out. So pulling with the arms, pressing with the knee, activating those core muscles, really great for the lower back, for those hips. Gently release, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, pull down with those hands, lift up with that knee, and release, and we're gonna do that one more time. Press up with the knee, pull down with the hands. And release. Switching back to the right, this time placing that right hand to the top of the thigh, pulling that knee in. So we're gonna use the strength, pulling the knee in, and we're gonna push through that hand. So as you press down with the knee, we push up with the hand, creating that resistance. Feel the strength in the core and release. Press up with the hands, pull down with the knee, and release. One more time. Press down with the knee, press up with the hand, and release. This time keeping that right knee tucked in, extend your right arm out, left hand to the outside of the right knee, and gently pull your leg across your body. Now if you hear some little pops and cracks, it's all good as long as there's no pain. Just that body letting go of tension and tightness, realigning. Usually that feels pretty darn good. And if you don't feel it, no worries. We just want to give ourselves that opportunity to let that body find the best place. And when we remove those imbalances, create space, let go of tension. Mm. So great. Releasing that left hand, rolling it back to center, extending that right leg out, just let it relax. And now we pull that left knee in, left hand to the top of the thigh. And again, we're gonna pull down with the knee and we're gonna press up with that left hand. So creating that resistance. Push up, pull down, and release. Again, press down with that knee, push up with that left hand. You're going to feel all kinds of craziness, beautiful stuff going on in that core and release, really engaging those lower abdominals. Press down with the knee, push up with that left hand and release. Left arm extends out to a T, right hand to the outside of the left knee and gently pull your leg across. Mm, turn your gaze over that left arm. So hopefully you've opened up some joints the hips, the shoulders, uh, the knees. You're letting go of tension and tightness in those hips, 
neck, shoulders, lower back. And we've allowed that energy flow to improve. Getting rid of blockages, taking down inflammation, creating space. That's what it's about. We roll it back to center. And release that left leg out. Extend the arms overhead. Stack one hand on top of the other. If that is not great for you yet, you can have those arms down by your sides or you can rest your hands on your tummy. We're just going to take a moment to breathe. Mm. Using this time to influence our day in a positive way ultimately influencing our life in a positive way. Switch and stick and stack the other hand on top. Allowing that energy to flow, finding effective, healthy ways to let go of stress and tension. Promoting healthy, mindful movement and mindful breath. Such a gift. Let's gently transfer those hands to the belly. One hand just below your belly button, one just below your sternum. Adjust however you need to adjust. And switch and place the hands in the opposite placement. We gently draw the knees in towards the chest. Just take a moment, rock side to side. Take the time you need. And as we come up to a seated position, you are welcome to rock yourself up or roll to one side and use the strength of your arms to help you come back up whenever you're ready. We turn. Sit up nice and tall. Find a comfortable place to sit. Relax your hands. Close your eyes. Pull your hands to heart center. A little tuck of your chin towards your chest. Just a quiet moment of gratitude to your body, to your mind, to your breath. And a moment of gratitude from me to you. Thank you for joining me today. For inviting me into your home or wherever you may be. I hope today is an amazing day. Be well, take care. And as always, light love, and namaste. Gently open those eyes. I honor you.